First of all, this music is amazing. So I got to play this game at Gamescom before it was even officially announced and all that. And um, it was amazing. So uh, I got invited by Team 17 to play this game and I was really curious what it was about. Um, I had a lovely time sitting there and uh, chatting to the devs about this game and playing a little bit of it. Um, so I was really excited for this to come out. And this is only the demo, so... I really truly can't wait for the full game. So I want to go into the settings real quick. This is one of the major things that I always want to see when I play new games. Accessibility settings. Uh, I talked to them about it. It was really nice to, you know, see how they allow you to set all the colors, um, you know, whichever works for you. So if you're colorblind, um, that's quite nice. So there's a relaxed fishing mode, which is also like if you're struggling, you're allowed to make things a bit easier for yourself. Um, there is a bunch of different menu modes, a turning dead zone and a motion smoothing. So I think I did change some settings while I was playing. I think I probably changed some of the sensitivity of the camera. Um, so yeah, uh, I played this with controller at Gamescom, so that's what I'm going to do right now as well. Um, but there is keyboard and mouse options available. You can keybind everything yourself. So uh, let's get into it. Job listing. Angular wanted. Oh, the art style is so pretty. I adore it already. So it seems that we have crashed with our boat. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A sharp man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to the greater to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite a dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman is upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep up on you. Alrighty, so let's undock. Do we have the right equipment for this one? We do. Oh no. So technically you don't really need to use X. Um, time only advanced when you're moving, fishing or ta taking other specific actions. And this is something that I really like about this game. They told me about this and I was like, oh, wow, that is actually such an amazing feature because you can take a break and just stop. And you know, if you're streaming, you can talk to chat or you can, you know, quickly go. And when you come back, you'll be at the exact same moment of the day. And it's not like you have to wait or you, you have to pause the game or you, you know, um, it's just time on advance when you're moving. There we go. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more happy, more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. 
A small amount of, amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to a local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Got it. Our local fishmonger will help, will appreciate and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. And then we can go to the fishmonger. You entered a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're a new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see what you've got. So, we can basically sell whatever the heck we want. That is it. Oh, we can sell from a storage as well. So we can just fish, storage, fish, storage, and then sell everything at once. The mayor is standing outside the Fishmore store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Down there. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentions you might, you might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Alrighty. Well, we're already pretty decent in terms of our loan. Um, as you walk into the yard, you see a shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is a front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splints and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. So, we can grab another rod, I guess. We cannot grab another rod. I, I'm short. 90 cents. Exactly 90 cents. So we can get new engines. That make you go faster. And more... Um, better lights. I think what I want to do is... Get this one. I literally need 90 more cents for it. <sighs> Research. Ah. Okay, not available in demo. <laughs> fair points, fair points. Volcanic. Oh my gosh. Okay. So research is not available in the demo. Um, I did do some research when I was uh, when I played this, and it was really it, it's it's generally really interesting how all that works. So we can undock or rest. Ah, we get messages. Oh my gosh. Twentieth of August, nineteen twenty-seven, morning of the second day of the honeymoon moon and our first proper day. Our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here, the layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in the shell, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. We renamed the boat last night, really. He did fencing, a renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. The boat's lead is very important to perform it correctly, unless you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. We wanted to throw away everything with an old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden stuffed under a blanket in front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Something is sus about that. Okay, let's talk. And then we can go to the fishmonger and sell. 
We can also hold X to sell everything. But I've seen a strange red li red light at night. It seems to be rising from the west. I have not. Okay, so now we can actually get a rod. I'm just going to go for this one. So this is also a thing that you have to be mindful of. Um, the rods also have specific spaces, so you can't just put them everywhere. You have to be careful and mindful where you put them. So I guess at some point you're going to have to swap rods out when you want to find specific fish and stuff. Uh, I think... Should we unlock? I think I might. I think I might. It's really, really foggy. A little bit scary, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, should we keep going? I don't know. Maybe we should wait until they. Oh, but that's the light they meant. Hold on. I don't know if we can safely go there. I, s I have... Hold on. We should go slow and steady. But then we might be able to get there safely. Exposure to fog and other things increase your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay. So we have a panic meter. That is good to know. Luckily, it opens automatic. I feel like I wouldn't be very great at that. A special order comes through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay above normal prices. Sure. That's for one gold flounder and one grey eel. Bring them in when you have them. You need to have a rod that can handle shallow water in order to get those. I have that. Got any fish for that order? Yes. Uh. Alright, come back when you have everything. Now it's a regular business, eh? Do I sell this? I think I do. Okay. Loan isn't too much anymore. I guess we'll try to fulfill that order. And just really focus on story content. Oh no. I don't know if I should wait until tomorrow. I feel like those weren't there before. Oh my gosh, that's I think my panic meter is quite high. Do we wanna stay out here and see what happens when it gets worse? Kinda. Why does it sound like there's something swimming around my boat? I don't see it. But I guess it might just be safer too. Ooh, okay. A hunched woman appear approach you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Come to fish, come to see the area, come to me people. I've come to see the area. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. He turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. But that's not concerning. This is the person I was hoping to see. Will he be sailing out east towards the Little Marrow? But you gave this package to a dock worker there, please. Sure. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in a string. It's dripping slightly. The dog worker will pay up on delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay. Uh, have you got a fish for an order? Do I? This is not a fish, right? No, it's not. Uh, 
Hello, is this a safe place? I hope it is. <laughs> Apparently I'm very panicked. Hmm, what? Delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small horn paper and pieces eyes. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I'm supposed. He hands you some money. I was given this old book, book of you. Uh, I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket hands too. Number of pages are folded are fold over. Keep it in your cabinet. Perhaps you can read while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. So there is a trader here. You enter a bright lit shop packed with, packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and all our baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello, is that... no? Ah, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't quite what they used to be. Specialized in antiques and jewelry, I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Nope, I do not. Okay. Uh... I don't want to see what that was all about. Have you got any fish for his order? I don't think I do. What is it today? He hands a grotesque fish to the fish more. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before he inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ah, now this is the sort of specimen that needs to live life up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as still feeling for something. He pushes on one side of the stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slides the fish open, fish, fish open from the stomach. He pulls a small piece of fabric, rests on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Oh, well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and pay for a fish too, of course. One of the first crabs of fish I've seen in this part, so I'm sure you'll find more before it's long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Okay. Debt free! Are we debt free? I think we are. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in a shadow. I know what you took to the fish owner. And I'll be clear, I know he extracts an artifact from it. I need to expect, inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Owl. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Oh, 58 cents remaining of my loan? Amazing. Also, I got my bows repaired. Oh my gosh, I should get my bows repaired. Yes, I finally do. Fishman wraps up the fish and hands you some money. He's good. They should be pleased with these. We got another order here. This one's a little bit more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. I had that black grouper. I've been fishing at night. I've been vibing at night. Honestly. Nights are great. What do you mean? Oh, wait, that still doesn't count towards my loan. If I know that. You're both looking a bit banged up. I can repair it here if you like. Yes, please. Repair all. Uh, I'm not going to get anything else for now. A little bit sad about it. You know what? What I'm going to do? I'm going to very quickly fish and one more fish. And then once I've got that, I can repay my loan fully. And then I can rest for the night. There we go. The mayor is one quick towards you. Seems to be in a good mood. Spring is step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly, partly to your efforts, a great, greater marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've grown consent for ship right to expand their facilities. The old dry rock is uh, dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fish more service. We might have something to talk to you about. Let's talk about it soon. Keep up the work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I didn't really choose though. This is the dry dock. We make we can make significant improvements to your vessel here. Token extra space, more attachment points for equipment and even superior tools. Decent, we will need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Uh, lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do we get these? Plenty of decent materials around the coast from various strip racks. Okay. Materials of science which are greater will restore it. Cool. Okay. Ooh. 
more rot spaces, that's nice. Okay, awesome. Alright. Man is standing in a doorway, watching your approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. He's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. Okay, good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curious that occupy occupy the fair periphery per, per, periphery of desire Words are tough <laughs> and you have something for me you give the handkerchief to the collector he holds it up to the flickering light and studies it these patterns are unmistakable even after all this time this handkerchief comes from an old ship i've been searching for it sank many years ago it carries items of great importance as you can imagine retrieving them is proven to be challenging that's where you come in our proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I'll reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Dark. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box. And key. I would encourage you to ask around towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Is this dredge? A dredge. Look at this dredge. Start dredging. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is how that works. Oh no, I don't like that. I struggle a lot with this. I'm not good at this at all. Panic. Oh, what did I get? A bolt of wood. That's not what I was looking for, but I guess I'll take it. Be used for faster and fish. Ah, that's how I can upgrade my belt. Nice. Ooh. Red lights. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh hell yeah. Oh, that's a massive key. Okay, so now I can go back through the... Off. Break. Ah. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm very scared. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We survived that. That really snuck up on me. The ant collector's house is standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. The ant the key. The cold metal shimmers strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, or the head, somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. But all the same, they must be found. I never said this would be easy. I suppose we'll see if you have what it takes so soon enough. Raise the truth in Reg. I had a gut feeling that that was going to be the end of the tutorial, uh, sorry, the demo. Um, since we can't go anywhere else yet. Um, that really captures the essence of the game for me. Um, so like I said, I have I was allowed to play a little bit further than this. Um, and they also allowed me to expand a little bit, uh, fast forward a little bit so that I could explore a little bit more. Um, that is so good. I I love this game. I genuinely I cannot wait for its full release. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I cannot wait to play the full game. Probably it, I feel like it's going to be a stream game. I feel like it's going to be a stream game. Um so once again, thank you. Take care. Stay awesome. Bye bye. Did I just accidentally record 50 minutes of this? Yeah. I mean probably more like 45. Maybe 40. But still, how are we going to edit this down to help? Oh.